guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie Fenn, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to accomplish a super slow motion looking shot, even though your camera may not shoot up to 120 frames a second, or even 60 frames a second. Some of us only have cell phones or even cameras that shoot no more than 30 frames per second. I currently shoot all of my YouTube videos with a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, and I was actually just experimenting around with trying to get some slow-mo shots handheld, and then I came across this feature in DaVinci Resolve where it basically turns any shot that I want into like super buttery smooth slow motion. So I'm gonna show you how to do that effect in DaVinci Resolve. So if you don't have that, download that and follow along. All right, let's roll that intro. <laughs> So the first thing I did is I just took the clip that I had and I added some speed ramping to the beginning and the end of the clip. And the middle portion is what I wanted to smooth out. I actually did 25% of 24 frames per second, which is about six frames per second. And this is what it looks like. It's basically just stuttering across the screen, right? Let's look at that one more time kind of hard on the eyes. We're not trying to do a stop motion effect here. And this is what the final result looks like with what I'm gonna show you how to do. And this is how you're gonna do this. So you're gonna click on that clip. I'm gonna disable it just for the time being because if I activate these effects, it's gonna be really intense on your CPU and your GPU. So your computer is gonna be pretty taxed when you do this effect. So make sure you get your clip exactly how you want it and time it out exactly how you want the effect to take place in the time of when it is working and when it's not working. I suggest doing this on shorter clips so your computer doesn't go crazy. I'm going to, like I said, just disable this clip real quick and come over to the retime and scaling. I'm gonna turn it on and these are the options it gives you. So the retime process is gonna be optical flow. So select optical flow and then under motion estimation. Now I'm going to select speed warp and this should make your footage look super smooth. I haven't really played with the other ones here, but I just know that speed warp is the best. I'm not sure if this is in the free version of DaVinci, so you may have to purchase the studio version, but all I can say is this is incredible. I mean, look at the final result so cool so clean it looks like high speed footage you know it looks like 120 frames a second slowed down and this is a raw clip like these are raw images hey will you guys do me a favor actually and comment below what you guys think about my tutorials what i should maybe do next and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like these kinds of videos and i'll see you in the next one That's all I want.